Hi, Alishan Mal here. A number of emails were arriving in my email box sitting there and a number of people were asking. They're having trouble uh, with the helicopters uh, flying. Of course, of course. In the beginning, beginners always get lots of troubles when flying. This is what we call practice makes perfect. So you have to practice. Now, uh, here we are. Uh, I'm going to answer one of that very important question that many people have asked me. Like somebody says we have a, a what, Honeybee King 3, which is like over there. Um, e Sky Honeybee King 3 and some people had uh, Bell CPV2 uh, from E Sky and they said that uh, when they're lifting it off like for the hover they're lifting it off the helicopter is like for for instance and the helicopter just like tilts either to the right or tilt either to the left and then they have to reduce the throttle and bring it back they means why can't their helicopter just hover just like mine does in my videos that it gets up and it hovers very perfectly and then it goes flying around doing some crazy stunts why they can't do that so in this video i'm going to show you something about hover or a stable hover or how to set the trims properly because if your helicopter is just like uh, before getting up it's going right and left you need to control it the other thing is if the helicopter is hovering you make it hover but it just goes to left right forward backward itself you need to control it or you need to set the trims properly and then you can control it so let us begin with this i have here four different helicopters this is belt cpv2 from eSky it's a ccpm 120 degree swash plate system then we have eSky honeybee 2 the red canopy which is a fixed pitch helicopter and it's a beginner helicopter then i just brought my bell 222 coaxial big coaxial helicopter which are supposed to be very very stable helicopters for beginner and finally we have the three channel mini metal copter the world's most stable flying or hover helicopter so uh, before i start i would tell you one thing when you're a beginner you can start with coaxial helicopters like double wings uh, double rotors so you can start with them they are very very stable and very few times you need to set the trims okay if you do not like coaxial helicopters you can start with fixed pitch helicopters single rotor with motor on the tail rotor just like e sky honeybee 2 is a very stable very nice helicopter for the beginners not for the pros or intermediate pro and inter intermediate people still can have fun flying it around but for beginners it's also a very stable helicopter and if you're just going to have fun of course three channel metal helicopter is there for you to fly and when you're moving up with your skills, you move to CCPM systems like Bell CPV2 or Honeybee King 3 sitting over there or any other T-Rex clones or T-Rex helicopters. Now, before we begin, uh, here are the radios of these helicopters. I'm going to pick them one by one. Let us say I pick a 2.4G radio for the Bell 222 helicopter, which is this coaxial helicopter. Now, let me show you, let me show you the controls here. This is mode 2 radio, so it means throttle is at the left. This is your left and right, like ailerons and elevators. This is your rudder and throttle. Okay, so ailerons is channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. Right, that's great. Now, we have these things, these are called trims that you can actually set when the helicopter is hovering. For instance, you raise the throttle helicopters hovers a little in the sky all right okay and you find the helicopter goes a little bit right always and for that you need to actually counter it with using aileron a little to the left so the helicopter can come back and hover now if all the time you are using a little bit left on the aileron to keep the helicopter stable what you can do is simply you can move this trim to the left to adjust that counter or that force and then you don't always have to keep pushing on this aileron to the left to have it stable now this is what is trial and error kind of thing you need to hover the helicopter and see where it is going if it is going forward move this elevator trim a little bit down if it is going always backward move the elevator trim a little bit up if it is going left always move the uh, aileron trim to the right if it always goes right move the aileron trim to the left similarly if it is rotating 
in either direction, you can counter that using the rudder trim. Mostly the throttle trim is used to adjust the throttle on these helicopters on where this throttle stick will start working. All right, now these, that was a coaxial helicopter. What about the fixed pitch helicopter like Honey B2 from eSky? Well, it's also the same thing. You can see throttle, rudder on the Mod 2 radio, aileron, elevator, and we also have trims. Now you can see that on this helicopter, as per its behavior, you can see my trim on the aileron is totally to the right and ele elevator is totally to the up. This means my helicopter was going back and left always, going back and left always. So I countered those forces using my trims to keep it stable. Now, depending on the flying conditions, if you're flying outdoors, like where there's wind affecting the flight performance, you will have to adjust the trims according to that weather condition or according to the behavior of your helicopter. Now, same thing goes with a six channel helicopter like CCPM on uh, Bell CPV2. Here is the radio. As you can see, it's not much difference except that we have some other buttons or switches or knobs are here. We will not look at it. We will just look at the basic controls, throttle, rudder, aileron, elevator. And you can see we have trims here as well. So similarly, you can set all these trims as per the helicopter behavior. Now, some radios do not have that. Let me show you one more radio. For instance, you are using a helicopter, like for example, a T-Rex clone, like my Drago, you have seen that. Um, I'm using Futaba 7 CIP radio. It's a computerized digital system that I'm using for that helicopter. And you can see there aren't trims like that, but there are trim buttons here. So all you need to do is make them up, down, left, right, and set the trims. And when you do it, actually, you hear the beep. So based on that, you can also see the trims uh, visually in uh, the LCD, and you can easily adjust your helicopter behavior or your airplane behavior. Same thing goes for the airplane. If airplane is behaving not right, you can actually set the trims. Now, let us hover all these helicopters.